Alright, so for those of you who don't know, I'm a huge comedy fan. So much so that I'm, uh, I'm usually just watching reruns of comedy flicks from the 90s, like Friday and such. And I'm into stand-up comedy too, so... Which brings me to this next thing, which is um, the Comedy Central roast that used to happen um, before, you know, the whole Rick Ross controversy bullshit. Anyways, right now what I'm usually doing is skipping two cringy parts from two particular roasts. The roast of Donald Trump where the situation did horribly. And also this, this roast right here, the roast of Rob Lowe where Ann Coulter literally bombed. And if you don't know what that means, you can Wikipedia it. Basically fucking up her. <laughs> fucking up really badly in, you know, in such a cringe laden fashion. So what I'm going to be doing right now is watching the Ann Coulter set for the first time. Where she appeared at the Comedy Central Rosso Bravo because I've never seen it. Whenever she would show up or anything, I'm either asleep or skimming over it because I don't want to cringe. But now I'm going to subject myself. Now, for the first time for you guys as well, I'm going to be watching it right now. We'll watch this together and see how cringe this is because, yeah, uh, she was crucified. And rightfully so because, um, yeah, stuff. Anyways, uh, let's just, let's get this started. I'm, I'm already not looking forward to this. I'm already cringing really hard. I'm kind of scared. I don't know why I'm scared. We'll see how this, let's see, let's see how bad this is. All right, three, two, one. Coming up. Anne hopes the Republicans uh, can hold on to the house so she can continue to haunt it. <coughs> okay, that's pretty funny. She seems stiff and conservative, but Anne gets wild in the sheets. Just ask the clan. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I remember that part. Looks like she's having a good time. I haven't seen you laugh this hard since Trayvon Martin got shot. Please welcome Anne Coulter! And of course, he's putting out a plug for a new book. It's which is heavily inspired by, you know, Donald Trump, his presidential run, you know what I'm saying? His candidacy, I should say. See how bad this is. Thank you. I want to welcome everybody to the Ann Coulter Roast with Rob Lowe. Um, I just, I just, I'm so overwhelmed with the love in this room tonight. I, I can't thank you enough. It's, it's really something. Um, no, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not a comedian, which is why you can imagine I often get mistaken for Nikki Glaser. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm what? Really oh, come on, man. Because of all of the love and respect I have for Rob Lowe and all these fabulous and talented performers tonight, it has nothing to do with this being the next stop on my press junket for the book I've just published four days ago, In Trump We Trust, E Pluribus Awesome. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This is painful Pause already. for booze. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to read that. Available at fine bookstores Wait, hold everywhere. Wait, hold on, hold on. So, you're not even making jokes. You're making a plug for your book at a roast. At a fucking... Okay, I don't know. This is so cringe, man. I know it's pretty shameless, but I'm on a stage with a guy who made two Joe Dirt films, so how shameless can I be? Uh... <laughs> That's solitary boo. It's fantastic to be at a big Hollywood shindig with all these glittering celebrities that isn't a fundraiser for Obama. I'm hoping to persuade Girl, you all to vote for Trump. Dude, everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> David. Everyone um, has a straight poker face. Holy the shit. The media is lying when they say they're, that Trump won't get the vote of a single spade. David is, this is the, painful. This is the painful. perfect roast master for the show. He's successful enough that everyone knows who he is, but not so successful that he's... I mean, I guess she knows too. He's, he's like confident enough to say all this comedy. shit because no one's laughing. Dude, no. A lot no. of people don't realize that David Lord. Schuster is... Marty Madeline. Oh, no. Marley Madeline. Oh, my God. No, no. That's fucked up. <laughs> Holy shit, no, that's 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 bad. That's really bad. When Marley is when someone as legendary as Marley Madeline thinks you're full of shit and not funny at all, out. By your outfit, David, I gather you're not speaking. <laughs> Why is People Jeff are being Rocket too kind at every People are being too kind. He thinks he deserves it, everybody else just goes along with it. He's like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, if I could get just one person here to vote for Trump, it would be you, Ralph. Uh, people would be so surprised. Ralph is like, uh, say, bullshit. <laughs> I got Ralph Macchio. Who's showing really you courtesy, woman? Trump, and they'd say, oh, oh, what a shock. Ralph is still alive? 
Just kidding, you look totally fantastic. It's unbelievable, Ralph. Can you believe this guy's like 54? He looks incredible. Whatever you've been drinking, you gotta send a few cases to Hillary. <laughs> we have British comedian Jimmy Carr with us because of Obama's lax immigration policies. He's... I must admit, I'm a little uncomfortable not only with the mean jokes, but the raw sexual commentary that's so popular at these roasts. I mean, apparently female comics have to be dirty to expand their fan base. Thank God you didn't have to go there, Nikki. If you've ever asked yourself, who do I have to screw to get a TV show in Hollywood, Nikki has the actual list. <laughs> I'm honored to share this stage with a patriot, Rob Regal. Thank you for your service. Uh, you were a Marine for over 20 years. You've seen things no man should have seen, including The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. Peyton Manning, I applaud your conservative convictions. I know you're a big supporter of Jeb Bush. Um, that's a political contribution that will pay handsomely. <laughs> Girl, this is a Jeff fucking Nott, roast. Oh my god. Delegates. I mean, I'm no liberal myself, but Jesus Christ, this is painful. Tonight. <laughs> I once thought Pete Davidson was just like Obama, biracial goofball. Go. This is the bare moment. Beloved institution, but it turns out I was wrong. Pete's not biracial. <laughs> Good one. And now for the man of the hour. The man of the hour, the one hour left in his career, Rob Lowe. I'm a big fan oh, of Rob painful. Lowe's work, especially, of course, the taped threesome. To this day, that remains the most authentic performance I have ever seen at a Democratic National Convention. Uh, Rob was on the West Wing where he managed the, the impossible task of uh, being the most insufferable part of an Aaron Sorkin show. A few years ago, there was talk of Rob Lowe replacing Charlie Sheen when the government was deciding who to give AIDS to next. Okay, Rob's that's... last show was called The Grinder. Hard to believe that a TV show named after a gay dating app wouldn't be a huge hit. I know some of you are saying to I, I do this only to promote... Ah, uh, fuck. Seeing the audience literally just like default. Default reactions, like nothing, no emotion whatsoever. They did this on purpose. I'm pretty sure they did this on purpose. Because holy fuck, and like really, no fucking jokes. Like literally, later in this fucking roast, Rob, Rob no, not Rob, 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 fucking Jeff Ross points out like, <laughs> wrote she wrote eleven books, but can't write a single fucking joke herself. I mean, obviously it did make people laugh a little bit, but still, it's like forced laughter because they're people are trying to be nice to you. Yeah, I don't know. They, they, they people, the people at Comedy Central knew exactly, exactly what they were doing because this is fucking painful, dude. Uh, it's like I'm literally cutting myself. In. Anyways, let's, let's let's continue. Book in Trump we trust. E pluribus Austin, available at bookstores everywhere, including the Barnes and Noble where Rolf Macchio works. Uh, we all do what we do. Writers write, actors act, and Rob Lowe. What does he do? Uh, the truth is Rob Lowe does a job that most Americans just won't do. He plays Rob Lowe. It's a thankless job, but we are all so grateful that you do it, Rob. Thank you. <laughs> For real, what the fuck was that, dude? Like, first of all, like I said, I, they knew exactly what they were doing when they brought Ann Coulter. Like, basically, in her stance, she's like, oh, they never told me the nature of these roles, of, you know, these Comedy Central roles. They never told me the nature of it before they invited me to it. Like, bitch, I'm, I'm sorry. How you could be so complacent and so, like, out of touch and have no idea what's going on? I don't know. I mean, I guess, like, from someone who takes her... Uh, her her political stance quite seriously, dare I say, dare I say. Um, she's unaware of a lot of shit like that, you know? And for someone who's supposed to, you know, be very stern, very, uh, I guess not so opinionated about jokes and everything, she was really not having a good time. So they knew exactly what they were doing, but at the same time, uh, like, I mean, I guess she was having a little bit of fun at the show, but 
because I have seen this roast many times, Ben. Every fucking time that I look at this, I mean, this is the first time I see the Ann Coulter section of it, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't think it was going to be this bad. I'm pretty sure the situation one is pretty bad in itself, because I haven't seen that one either. I've heard bits of it when I would fall asleep to, like, when I would fall asleep to, like, the roast. Because sometimes I listen to the roast to help me fall asleep. And it actually works sometimes. It's worked this whole week. Um, but they need to bring these roasts back. But if they're going to do something like this again, they really need to reconsider. Because this shit was, this shit was just painful. I mean, it's, like, it's for a good laugh, too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everyone laughs at themselves, too. Like, all, like the actual, like, honorees and everything. They laugh at, at themselves as well. So, And they actually do a good job. Like, fucking Justin Bieber did a good job. Donald Trump did a good job. Charlie Sheen did a good job. This, I mean, <laughs> Rob Lowe did a good job too. Uh, I really, I haven't seen the Bruce Willis and uh, Alec Baldwin ones either. So yeah, and they haven't done one since the Alec Baldwin one in 2019. And truth be told, we need, we do need a new one. So it'd be nice to have one, and another, another edition of it. But we'll see. But yeah, in regards to this, what happened just now? What I, what we, just, what we just watched, uh, I did not enjoy that one bit, and was more focused on promoting her fucking book and not in the actual occasion at hand, which was. Literally, what you were there for. <laughs> oh, Lord. At least she did I did, did, she did seem like she was enjoying herself at some of the jokes, but this shit was painful. There'll be more videos like this, by the way. Uh, I, I did not enjoy that one bit.